Steve, let's switch gears. We were talking about earnings. Let's talk about big tech earnings. They're on tap this week, Alphabet and Microsoft. They joined the chorus of companies warning of trouble on the horizon. And both companies reported earnings after the bell yesterday. Right now, you're seeing Microsoft here pre-market trading higher by about 3.7%. Alphabet, Google, that's moving up by about 4% right now. Let's start things off, though with Microsoft because there were a few things to really call out here and we previewed this earlier on this week and talked about how this would really be an earnings period for tech circling around ads and clouds here and we got just a little bit of both of that for Microsoft and for the cloud strength that they said they said that drew uh, or drove a lot of the fourth quarter results here for cloud specifically and they say even more opportunity helping every customer using some of their cloud solutions here but I think most notably they saw strong demand they said they took share they increased their customer commitment to the cloud platform and commercial bookings grew 25 percent cloud revenue 25 billion dollars up 28 percent year over year. I'm surprised. Again, this is another report. I'm going to keep using Walmart throughout the show. That's just the market reaction is really surprising me because that conference call last night from Microsoft, and we'll mention uh, Alphabet in a second, was not that great. Here's Microsoft first. We showed that chart of uh, Microsoft's cloud business, Azure. You can see a slowing growth rate sequentially in that mighty cloud business of Azure uh, as recession fears mount. You heard Microsoft talk about a slowdown in small businesses. I heard that same tone when I was at the Goldman Small Business Conference last week. Small businesses are, are a key business for Microsoft, and they are under a lot of pressure right now with slowing demand and high levels of inflation. What the market is probably hanging its hat on here, and you see Microsoft shares up in the pre-market, is their guidance. So for mm -hmm. the next 12 months, Microsoft outlined double-digit sales guidance and double-digit operating income guidance. Now, we have to put an asterisk next to that uh, profit guidance because that includes a new way of accounting for Microsoft depreciation. I hope you can tune out because it's really, really boring, but still it's going to be a big profit boost for Microsoft over the next 12 months. But still, I think the, the market hanging its hat on that, not, uh, not as bad guidance for Microsoft. You know, there's so many things that you get out of Microsoft earnings. You get the B2B relationships on the cloud front on, and on a lot of the different solutions that, of course, they've put into pretty much every type of workspace. But then additionally, you get that consumer front on the discretionary spending for some of the individual technologies, the consumer technology. You get the spending on some of the gaming start, uh, side of the business. But then additionally, we're starting to get even more, and perhaps this is the, the good segue into Google is on the advertising front. Microsoft made a very key acquisition of Xander, and that just closed last month. They talked about this on the earnings call. Um, they have a new partnership in Netflix. Netflix, of course, moving forward with their ad-supported tier um, and choosing Microsoft as their exclusive technology and sales partner there for their first ad-supported subscription offering. And so that particularly is something to keep an eye on because advertising revenue right now for Microsoft, it's in search, it's in Bing, if you want to talk about Bing. It's also in LinkedIn, and LinkedIn contributed this quarter. But I think moving forward here, it's going to be this battle of the demand side platforms in a Microsoft versus a trade desk out there that had really been that DSP provider for so many advertising campaigns to really go to a marketplace. And just bid in an open market for some of those ad insertion orders as well. No, it's very important you, you brought it up because now we always talk on the show about connecting the dots with investing. Yeah. Really bad quarter from Snap last week. You had LinkedIn ad weakness in this quarter from Microsoft. You had YouTube ad weakness uh, sequentially over at Alphabet. All the ducks are in line for a, a potentially challenging quarter for Meta when it reports very soon. And not just a challenging quarter, also challenging outlook. But let's just go on Alphabet here. Mm -hmm. Jeffrey's analyst, Brent Thill, a uh, friend of the show, really noting out several macroeconomic concerns that Alphabet highlighted. First, to your point, uh, a slowdown in YouTube revenue because of a pullback in ad spending. Travel demand, a little bit of weakness there as well. Also weakness in other revenues as uh, businesses pull down various, uh, various sides of spending. So look, here, here's Alphabet, here's Microsoft warning about the state of the economy. Market doesn't care, but maybe it should. Yeah, traffic acquisition costs, so basically what they pay to get a lot of that traffic to their websites, that was up 12%, hit $12.2 billion. That's something that really factors into the overall services revenues where they factor in some of the search and advertising revenues. That came in at $40.7 billion, and this is still largely for Alphabet and advertising business. Still runs, with, runs away with, what, just about 80% of their overall revenue on a quarter-by-quarter -quarter basis. And so thinking through that and where they're seeing that even start to slip up a bit because of the traffic acquisition costs that they have 
to put out. That's something worth keeping an eye on in going in going forward quarters from here. And here's why, because of something you mentioned. And they had to acknowledge on the earnings call for Alphabet, the quarter over quarter deceleration in both YouTube and on network advertising revenues, it primarily f- reflects the pullbacks in spend by some advertisers. This is something that we're going to continue to hear even as we get into Meta, the parent company of Facebook, into their earnings to see exactly where the companies are still spending on advertising spend as they're restructuring their costs.